So yeah, we're going squirrel hunting today with the brake barrel. Yesterday was opening season and I went out last night. I saw like two squirrels and a bunch of deer and that was it, it was pretty bad. It's 11.15 in the morning right now. It's pretty early, I mean, it's pretty late actually. I don't know if we're gonna see any squirrels right now. I might have to come back later tonight, but. Yeah, this is the first time I've put the scope cam on one of my brake barrel air rifles. Like I said, 22 cal using the standard hollow points Crossman. So let's go in the woods and shoot a squirrel so what i like to do is because there's so many leaves you can't really see and see the squirrel so i sit and listen see if i can hear one chewing on a nut and then i'll just move that way and i don't hear anything i don't see him anymore he was just right there and he's gone now guys i just seen three squirrels right here i think he's still I think I got him. I forgot how much brake barrels kick back. So I had my eye right up to the scope and it just, cause I can, I have to have this, my, my eye like right up against this thing to see. Oh my gosh, that thing just boom, right in my face. That hurt. But I think we got the squirrel down, so it was worth it. Kind of a weird shot. He was kind of facing to me. I think I hit him in the head the way he was rolling around. I knew if I missed his head, it was gonna hit the body. So I think we're good either way. Let's go try to find him real quick. He's still alive, hold on. Okay, he's done. Yes, finally, we got a squirrel. I'll just put this in black and white because YouTube does not like blood. That was my follow-up shot right there. First shot, hit him right there. Not a very good shot, but hey, we got him down. Nice fox squirrel. It's gonna be some good eating right there. Right, I know there's at least two more squirrels right in this area. I think I'm gonna find a spot right here to sit down and just wait for them to come back out because they probably got spooked a little bit from that. All right, I hear one chewing on a nut over in these hickory trees over here. Somewhere in those trees right there. Oh, I missed him. All right, I moved to a different spot. I'm actually in my tree stand. I'm just gonna wait here till one comes out. I'm tired of walking around. I'm exhausted. So yeah, I'll probably wait here for like 15 minutes, see if we can see anything. All right, I see a squirrel way up there, sitting on a branch, just laying down. He's probably a good 35 yards. It's a pretty long shot, but I think I'm gonna take it. So here we go. I think I got him. I was moving so much. When I pulled the trigger, I was like with the gun and I blinked too. All right, I got down. We're gonna try to find the squirrel. I rewatched the footage and I just can't tell. Probably just ran away on one of these logs and that's why you didn't hear anything. Never mind. I did hit him. He is dead right here. Okay, yeah, he's dead. I cannot believe I actually hit that. Okay, I feel the pellet on this side. It didn't exit the skin, which happens a lot for some reason. It entered in his arm right there, and it must have just traveled up to the arm because there's nothing right here on this side. So I'm gonna quit after these two squirrels. I don't really need more than that to have a good squirrel lunch. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the air gun videos, and see you in the next video.